Hello everyone, this is Kadisha Nechmi here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this channel is about decorating your home on a budget. My style is modern meets boho glam and I love to DIY. So if your interests are similar to mine, then consider subscribing. Today's video is so special because I made a side table from scratch and it looks amazing and I want to share how I built it with y'all in this video. I originally got my inspiration from this Instagram story but I cannot find the author to save my life. I sh had shared it originally on my Instagram stories but I did not save it so I don't know how to get it back. But there are some blogs that I read from people um, who had built something similar. So I'll put the link in the description box for you guys to check it out. There are a lot of things that I did differently while building it myself and I'm going to share exactly that step by step in this video. All the materials and measurements are in the description box below and links to where I purchased the materials from and I'll also put it up on the screen for you guys to screenshot. Alright, well let's get right into it. So first I measured the concrete form tube to the length of the side table I was looking for. My overall length after I added the top and bottom piece came out to be 23 and a half inches. So whatever height you're looking for, make sure to subtract the height of the additional pieces from the length of the form tube. I used my hand saw to cut the tube to the appropriate size. Then I attached the smaller pine board to the bottom of the tube. But this pine board was perfect because the ridge around the top went right inside the tube and helped with the additional support. I added wood glue to attach it. I pretty much use wood glue to attach everything. When I read some blogs about people doing this sort of thing, they used wood glue. So I did the same thing and it worked. It's pretty sturdy. To provide that additional support, I had this scrap wood that I cut into four pieces and attached it on the inside where the glue connected the tube and the pine board together. And I went even further and used staple gun where I stapled on the outside of the tube to further reinforce the glue. I don't know how I came up with that, uh, but I just really wanted to make sure that it stayed put because we're not using nails or screws and this was my alternative. After I was done with that, I started cutting the half round molding I bought for this project. So my cuts were 22 inches and after I cut the first one, I just wanted to make sure it aligns with the bottom and top of the form tube before I cut any more. And then I use that piece as the base to cut the rest of the pieces. Then I use the wood glue to attach all of them as well. The first piece you want, the first piece you want to make sure that it is straight since it's going to act as a level for the rest of the pieces. So I use my leveler to make sure of that and then I glued the rest of the pieces around it. When I was done with half, I used this string to hold everything together while the glue dried since I did not have more than six clamps, so this was what I did. And then I did the rest of the pieces, I left it to dry overnight, and then the next morning I started back up again. Okay. 
Before I started painting, I noticed that there were some molding pieces that were just a tad bit uneven, so I used a 60 grit sandpaper and sanded those down till the tabletop sat flat on top of the table. After that, I created my paint wash. I used this white paint and wanted a hint of pinkish brown in my paint, so I bought this sample size container from Lowe's of the color glamorous top and mix it in with my white paint until it turned this beautiful pinkish white color which turned out to be the same color as the marble of my coffee table so it was perfect and then I added the water to create a milk like consistency which is important for this paint wash technique. And to apply it, I use this cheap foam brush and a lint-free cloth to wipe the excess paint off. As you can see, the paint does not completely wipe off. It leaves a tint of the paint behind and the wood grain is still vi visible. So that's the reasoning behind the paint wash is I really wanted to get rid of that orange tone of the wood and give it a nice cooler tone and I definitely achieved it with this. So I did the same thing with the rest of the table and while I was applying paint, the liquid was getting stuck in the metal of the molding and creating bubbles. So to fix that, I tore a little piece off the paper um, that I was working on and folded it thin and I was able to get into the crevices and wipe off the paint. And so you can do that too because the, cap the paint um, kept crawling in there and this was the only thing I could think of. But anyway, same thing, paint and wipe until you get the nice color, but the wood grain will still be visible and it will look beautiful. So what the heck, I know, <laughs> I added a bag of stones because the table was kind of light and I did not want it to wiggle when I set a glass of water down or a plate or anything, like I want it to be practical and you don't even, you can't even see what's in it because the tabletop is going to go right on top of it but it's going to really create that sturdy table, like it's very expensive and it's going to mimic like a, a very heavy wood and um, if you want a table under $50 to feel like it's over 300 or more, then this is what you have to do. Um, after that, I attached the tabletop and I also went in with some spackle, not shown because I lost the video of it, but I pretty much used a spackle, spackle, I pretty much used a spackle to fill in the gaps and then I applied the same pinkish color to cover the white spackle. The last step, and this is the most important step, if you want your paint to last, you have to use a coating. So for this project, I used a satin finish coating and applied two coats and let the table dry overnight in my garage, and then I styled it.
Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!